Oh. Draw me, Jerry. Oh, boy. Lucy. Wow. Uh, this uh, isn't what I Hey, everybody. Welcome back to episode 11 of Rick and Morty, the final episode in season one. And this intro is going to be a little bit longer than they normally are, so if you want to just skip ahead to the episode, it's time stamped for you. But I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. A lot of you have been giving me all these little different insights to the series and just giving me just all these little things. And I've really been enjoying reading the comments and seeing what you guys think of the episodes as well. And I think for the most part, a lot of what I've thought has lined up with what you guys have thought, and I've really enjoyed that, so thank you very much for watching. And if you guys are enjoying the videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing so that way you can come back and not miss a single episode, because I do plan on going through the entire series at this point. I think I'm hooked, and there's no way that I can just leave it off at season one, so we will continue with season two after this. Thank you to all the patrons for the support. I appreciate it tremendously, and I hope you guys are enjoying all the unedited reactions. And without anything else, because that was a ton, let's go ahead and watch the last episode of season one. Bye, Mom. Drive Bye, carefully. Dad. Have fun, you two. Yes, we will have as much fun as possible on our Titanic-themed getaway. Let's oh, the boy. Tea, please, it's supposed to be romantic. Speaking of disasters, Dad, we are leaving you in charge here. I know. Can we wrap this up? Morty and I Why are they already also angry? <laughs> in the garage. Hey, don't blow me off. I am drawing a line, okay? Any damage <laughs> okay, to this or these children when we get back and... No more adventures with Morty. Oh, jeez, Rick. If my I love that they're just the okay, same, though. You know it's pretty serious this time. With going on these adventures. Wait, what? Listen, you have my word as a caregiver. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. And if not, like you say, no more adventures or whatever. It's like that yeah. old song. Blomp, plop, a noop, noop, a noop, noop, noop. You, you guys know that song from Tiny Rogers? Mm -hmm. You never heard of it? You know, the black effeminate guy from the 50s? <laughs> no, Nobody? All right, like, whatever, look, who cares? Just go on your I love when he just trip. rambles on about stuff. Not one thing out of place. No, not one, Jerry. Okay, bye. Summer, you can't throw a party. Remember what mom said? Yeah, if anything gets messed up, you <laughs> and Grandpa Rick get punished. I'm only mm -hmm. a human being, Morty. Rick, tell Summer she can't have a party. Uh, Summer, you Are can't they have not? a party. Ugh. Because I'm having a party, bitch. <laughs> what, Rick? You can't. It's gonna be so much worse. You're having a party. Are some glip globs from the third dimension going to come over and play cards or something? Glip glop? You're lucky a Traflorkian doesn't hear you say that. Is that like their N word? The vomit. Like the N word and the C word on his baby, and it was raised yeah. by all the bad words for Jews. Listen, I think the three of us could just, you know, have a nice time, like just hanging out and, you know, doing a little. Yeah. Party. Who is that? This is no. a chance to get Why would they do that? The cool kids. That's why you party. Boy, you really are. Morty's the responsible one this episode. Just keep your sci-fi friends away from my awesome Yeah, yeah and you keep your awesome friends away from my canapes. Uh. After dinner, Titanic 2 is, will is Rick a, sh a chef? Are you sure the ship will sink? I can assure you the ship will sink as it has <laughs> a thousand times before. It is un unsinkable. Oh. Look, the line for the bow. This is where Rose says, I'm flying, Jack, but whatever. I can be the only one to do it alone. Well, what about her? <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Poor like Jerry. Take my place in line. I, uh, I could get into trouble. We won't tell. So. Please tell me that this is Jerry's love interest I've now. I've since it opened, but I've never been able to participate. Aww. Happy to help, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Bukaki. I mean, like, uh -huh. I don't know if I'd I love really watching do it. Bukaki. Brad, hey! Yo. Brad is here. Quick, make my hair look drunk. Check it out. Tammy's already drunk. Cool. I am pleased there is no emergency. Oh, there's an emergency. This All is right. going to be the weirdest, When's the last time you <laughs> the weirdest episode. It has been a challenging mating season for bird person then it's time to get your beak wet tonight why is everyone so okay with like all these creatures and things coming by i don't understand that people six oh boy yo what up my glip glob oh man i thought they were gonna be the aliens from oh my god council of ricks baby oh did we get this That's why you never invite a floopy doop and a schmoopy doop to the same party. Oh, oh, God, oh, that's disgusting. You guys are in my parents' bed. 
Oh, sorry. I'm not feeling too well. <laughs> I just needed to lie down for a bit. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? How familiar <laughs> are you with the Gear Wars exactly? Uh, not at all. Oh boy. I envy you. Okay. It was about He's been waiting his whole life. Four years ago. Mm -hmm. His whole life to tell the story of the gear people. I'm oh, waiting for the Morty. familiar hey, faces. Have you, have you met my buddy Scropon? Not again, Rick. That last guy droned on for 20 minutes, you know? <laughs> and meanwhile, the whole house is being destroyed. Oh, Morty, this guy's entire planet was destroyed. Oh, wait, he was in, uh... Hey, oh, the one in the back, he was in the first episode, in the, like, dimension thing. You can squatch wherever I think. you want, man. Mikasa has a suit, Casa dog. All right. Can't we just pretend like everything's fine for a few He's hours? He's got a point. Enjoy ourselves and then worry about all this later. Yeah, that's easy for you to say, Rick. You know, you like not caring about stuff. You know, what? Wh what's in this for me? <laughs> there we go. We haven't had her in an... I've, I think I've almost forgotten her name. She's not been in an episode in so long. Knock it off, slow Mobius. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm just trying to show off my powers, bro! Is that what I think it is? Yes, every couple gets to recreate Jack's drowning <laughs> at the end of the movie. That's so romantic. I can't wait to do that with Beth. I don't know, Jerry. With all due respect, it seems like your wife may not be that interested. Oh. Look! Iceberg, right ahead! This is so Iceberg, wild. Right <laughs> uh, sir? There's not a problem. What do you mean? There's not a problem. The guidance system isn't putting us on a direct collision course. <laughs> the ship is about to completely miss the giant iceberg. Well, do something. Steer into it. I'm trying. Oh my god. It's too late. Ladies and gentlemen, don't brace yourselves. No! What happened? The what happened? happened? Oh no! Yep. What? Oh, great. Who invited Aberdoff Linkler? I thought everyone was welcome. Mm. It's not the same summer. Linkler's a crazy. Oh media. my god. So an effort of mine to create a morally neutral super leader by combining the DNA of Adolf Hitler and Abraham Lincoln. Turns out it uh, just adds up to a lame, weird loser. <laughs> weird. You brought me into this world, a suffering abomination, tortured by the duality of its being. But I shall finally know peace. He's gonna when shoot I him the head in me. Whoa, what's up, man? I have no quarrel with you, boy. <laughs> boy what's, what's up? that supposed to mean? Oh my god. Look, I, I don't know how you thought I meant it, but... Don't look at me, dude. Look, I'm half Abraham Lincoln, so... So, I should get on my knees and kiss your ass. Well, no, but... You know... What do I know? <laughs> the Third Reich will reign for a thousand years? Leave him alone, Brad. Stay out of this, Jessica! Kick his ass, Brad! Kick his ass! Kick his ass! <laughs> what the fuck is happening, dude? Brad is such a jerk. He's always trying to prove what a man he is. Yeah. Just want to find somebody nice and sweet. Morty. Jessica, can I Morty. show you something? It's beautiful. You know, Jessica, there's something I've always wanted to tell you. Is this you. like working? What's that, Morty? I think that you're the most... No, that. Those weird sounds coming from the closet over there. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, I'm squatting oh, in here! Oh my god, oh, that is so disgusting! <laughs> ah, oh, oh, yep. Crap. Yep. Giant testicle monsters. We'll be fine. Let's party! party! Why is his eyes? Just Hell yeah! Okay, so we're getting we're getting an irresponsible. I mean, what else is new? Ir irresponsible Rick, but the whole house is sitting in another dimension. <laughs> I love when he like just starts freaking out and has no idea what to do. Oh shit, motherfucker! 
Calaxian crystals, Morty. Just a few miles south of here. Okay, let's go then. <laughs> we, 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 we gotta go get those crystals right now, Rick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Morty, Morty, I, I can't go with you. I gotta hang back and make sure everything stays cool here, you know? I mean, who knows what... what it what was also Morty's fault. Yeah, me too. I should stay. You guys have any aspirin? Oh, hey, Morty, this is perfect. You can take Linkler with you. Hey, man, I'm not going anywhere. I'm injured. Shut up, Linkler. It's the least you can do for wrecking the living room. <laughs> yeah, and Nancy, you should go too. What? Oh, my God. I, what is I this mean, side because, plot that's about uh, to happen? You're, you're so good at playing the flute. You should Aww. find that Lucy woman. But, but... <clears throat> you see, Jerry? May I show you something? Lucy is the new wife? Entire area I'm ready. Underwater. Jerry deserves better. I would have liked to see it. This trip has been a titanic failure. Get it? Oh! Draw me, Jerry. Oh, boy. Lucy. Wow. Uh, this <sighs> isn't what I had in mind. But it's the perfect moment. We've been dreaming about this for 16 years. Uh, well, not like this. Not... Not with you. You're gonna draw me, <laughs> then you're going to fuck me in that car over there. It's weird, because I definitely think that all men are created equal, but... There they are! Jeez. Prepare to be emancipated from your <laughs> own inferior genes. I feel like every show at some point has, like, some sort of Abraham Lincoln in it. In some way or fashion. Oh, this is it for Wiggler, him. come on! Let's get out of here! My journey is over, Morty. Bye. I have something important to tell you. Yeah, say it. And the gears they oh burned for a thousand years until... Why is the kid's the face... Stop. Why... His face is like... Rick, I got him! I got the crystals! Oh, Woody, right. tell him. You did oh, boy. It, Morty. Rick, wait! There's something you need to know. I couldn't have done it without Linkler. He said that he was really sorry and that he loves you like a father. He only wanted you to accept him and he hopes that his final act would redeem him in your eyes. He sacrificed himself to save all of us, Rick. He died. Rick is not well, going to give a he didn't fuck. Die in vain. He got these crystals. <laughs> and these babies just saved this lame ass party. Wubba dubba dub dub. Play something. Some somebody play something. Wait a minute. What? Put your right foot forward and your left foot back. So Rick is a horrible like a person. He's actually a terrible person. That's the Rick dance! Rick might actually be the worst person. I thought those crystals were supposed to help us get home or something. What? No, no, no. I can get us home whenever I want to. But listen, speaking of those crystals, can I get the rest of them? I'm starting to come down, Morty. G Crystal Calaxian is a really strong but fleeting high. <laughs> That's what I think of your crystals, Rick. Oh, Morty, you idiot. Does anybody else have any more Kalax? <laughs> b b bird person? Uh, Squanchy? Don't squanch at me. All right, everybody. Party is officially over. Rick, take us home now. All right, all right, fine, Morty. You party pooper, buzz kill. Boo. Party pooper, baby. <laughs> Boo, Morty. Yeah. What's Jessica think? That's what's important. Tears just started turning. <laughs> Every weekend, Jackson and Roses have their Titanic experience in this car. Oh my I God! Have to up. <laughs> the floor drops out to make it easier. But now it's my turn. We're going to get it nice and steamy in there, and I'm going to slam my hand on the steam and leave a nice handprint, <laughs> and then you're going to laugh inside of. Is this really no happening? Mess, no clean. Oh God! Thank you. <laughs> Bet you're glad I think Kindle's so uh. dumb now. <laughs> I can't help but <laughs> the drawings. Lucy. I didn't peg Lucy for a rapist. What does a rapist look like exactly, Beth? Is it a Slavic man wearing a denim jacket with a patchy beard and the scent of cheap champagne wafting over his blister pocked lips? What? Well, at least you got all this free stuff. Should be enough to satisfy Jerry. your Titanic Jones. For what, a while. homie? Ugh. <laughs> Cape Fear! <laughs> The party's squatching out of my face. Oh, oh. And Morty doesn't even get Jessica. You're not 
not squanchy enough for a squanchy party. What? Nancy that's told us that's unfortunate. You Guys, seriously. Nancy? Summer, you're a bad person. All you care about is having popular people like you. That's not what Abradolf Linkler stood for. Well, it, it was hard to pin down. Morty what looks he stood absolutely for, but certainly not pissed what he died for. back there. <laughs> Morty, do you know what wubba lubba dub dub means? Oh, uh, that's just Rick's stupid nonsense catchphrase. It's not nonsense at all. In my people's tongue, it means, I am in great pain. Please help me. Well, I got news for you. He's saying it ironically. No, Morty. Your grandfather is indeed in very deep pain. That is why he must numb himself. Come on. Uh, what is... Person. Come on, bird person. Rick's not that complicated. He's just a huge asshole. Then why yes. do you care so much if you are no longer allowed to continue on your adventures oh. together? It appears fate has presented you with an opportunity to free yourself of Rick forever. You know what? You're right. I shouldn't even care. This is probably the best thing that could have happened to me. I'm sick of having adventures. Stop it, Morty, you got nothing else going on, bud. Gubba nub nub do raka. It means whatever lets you sleep at night. Guys, mom and dad are like right around the corner. Rick, wake up! Wait, 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 wait stop. Rick, you gotta do something quick. My parents are home. Oh, oh all right, all right, all right. Hold, hold on. The thing, the thing, it's got like buttons on and lights on it. It beeps. Rick, that describes everything in your garage. <laughs> you mean this? Summer for, for the win. <laughs> wow. Right, that should do it. Whoa, what did you do? Uh, see, see for yourself. Whoa. Yeah, e everything's frozen in time. For how long? I don't know. How long do you guys want? A week? A month? Can we start cleaning the house and see how we feel? I, I really expected there to be... What is this montage? I really expected there to be some sort of, like... I thought I was just going to clean the house for them, honestly. Oh, it stops the entire world, not just them two. Hey, Rick, you know this whole time, I haven't once heard you say that wubble up a dub dub thing that you usually say? Don't need to. I have a, <coughs> a new catchphrase. Oh, yeah? W what's that, Rick? I love my grandkids. Oh. Psych, just kidding. Uh. My new catchphrase is, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> just shake that ass, bitch, and let me see what you got. Just shake that ass. The fourth wall breaking. I absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, little boy. Are you enjoying this? Do you like this? Yeah, you know it, dog! Woo, baby! All right, so the final episode of season one. And there's kind of a lot to discuss and also kind of not. I, I enjoyed this episode for what it was, but I do wish that they had swapped episode 10 and 11, and I'm sure that there was a reason why they ordered it the way that they did, and that's totally fine. I still enjoyed the episode, just thought it was like a little bit weaker than episode 10. But overall, as far as like the overarching season and all the characters go, I really enjoyed seeing just everything. And we've got these like little plot points that I'm sure are gonna show up here and there throughout the entire series. So I'm excited to go through and see all those. Another thing that is kind of funny to me and also really, really fucked up is the fact that Jerry had a very similar moment to Morty. Uh, as far as Morty's bathroom scene goes is what I'm gonna call it. I don't know what else to really refer to that as, so. Now it's got me thinking that every member of their family is going to have some sort of bathroom scene. And I don't know if I am really prepared for that, but the show has shown me that the there are no limits to what they want to do with it. So I'm just going to start mentally preparing for that inevitability. But I have really enjoyed this series. You guys were right as far as how much I would enjoy it and that it's just going to get better as it goes along. And that there are definitely these episodes that just kind of like kick it off and like really really shove like what the show is about down your throat and i've been really enjoying all the comments and seeing like all the little things that i miss because obviously commentating while you're watching something is a little bit difficult and you guys are very quick to let me know if i've missed something and a lot of the time i do see that in editing but it's still nice to see that reinforcement and see that other people are also picking up on things and the little bits of 
dialogue that happened that are so low, like on this episode specifically when the girl's like, I, I love Bukaki. And it's like, it's so low that like, if I was watching on the TV, I probably would never have even heard her say it. So it's just like hilarious, the little tidbits of, of show that you get when you're, you know, not really expecting it to show up. But overall, I've really enjoyed this series and I'm looking forward to continuing it, which I absolutely do plan on doing and should just have the first episode of season two out next week, same time, same day, everything. I don't plan on doing a break, but without anything else, if you guys have enjoyed this series and if you've not yet subscribed, I would really appreciate you considering subscribing to the channel so that you can come back and watch the whole series along with me. And to all the patrons, I appreciate the support tremendously. It helps a lot, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the unedited reactions. And uh, without anything past that, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in Season 2.